If you're selling naked puts to collect premium, you always have the risk of the stock being put to you. Now, that could be good or bad, depending on your goal. In my opinion, this could be a very good thing and can allow you to trade one of my favorite strategies, which I call the Wheel of Fortune. In this video, we're going to talk about what this strategy is, how it works, and how you can use it to build wealth and generate cash flow in the markets. First off, what is sometimes referred to as the Wheel Strategy, or what I call Wheel of Fortune. Now, it's not the game show. The wheel strategy is a cycle, hence the name. It begins by selling a naked put on a stock that you're interested in trading and would not mind owning if it gets put to you. In a previous video, I talked about naked puts and how they work, which you can check that video training out right here. If the put ends up in the money at expiration, you'll get assigned 100 shares of stock. Then you can begin selling covered calls on it until your shares are called away. And once those shares are called away from you, you go back to selling puts and the cycle continues. So let's break it down a little bit further. The first stage of the Wheel of Fortune strategy involves selling a put on a stock that you would not mind owning. And that is important here. You have to be willing to accept that you're going to have to purchase that stock at some point, right? And that's what naked puts do. At some point, you're going to get exercise or put that stock. I like personally with naked puts to sell puts on stocks that are under $40. I don't get down into the really cheap stocks, but somewhere down below $40. That gives me an opportunity to not have a booking where I'm paying $2,000 per share, okay? I want stocks that, have, that are under 40, that have a million shares traded a day, right? So plenty of volume on that stock are optionable, of course. I prefer weekly options. Now, when it comes to the weekly options, the way I pick my candidate is I'm looking for a delta of about 20. That gives me a 20% chance that I will be wrong in that transaction. In other words, there's a 20% chance that we could have intrinsic value, cash value on my strike price come expiration date. In the second phase, if the stock price drops below the strike price of the put option at expiration, you will, not might, will be assigned that stock. This means you will purchase the stock at the strike price, regardless of what that price is, which might be lower than the current market price or in an American style option, which is what we normally trade here in America. A put can be exercised at any time, meaning that you may be put the stock no matter what the price of the stock is trading at. And the reason behind that is a trader who you don't know who has the other side of the transaction may need to manage their own position and you get exercised early or at a very advantageous price. Now that you own the stock, here comes phase three. It involves selling a covered call on this stock. My goal here is to collect premium. I want to bring in as much cash flow as I possibly can can. And by writing covered calls and collecting that premium, it allows me to pay for the stock because every time I take in premium, it lowers my cost basis. So if I bought a stock for $10 and I took in, as an example, only a dollar, which would be great, but probably not likely, took in a dollar for a week on a covered call, that means my cost basis is now nine. $10 I paid for the stock, $9 after they paid me $1. And every week after, I continue to lower my cost basis in that position. The last and most important phase to me is if the stock price rises above the price of the call options that you sold at expiration. Your shares will, again, not might, will be called away from you. This means you sell the stock at that strike price, which could be higher than what you paid for the stock. Once your shares are called away, you're back to square one. And you can start the Wheel of Fortune strategy all over again by selling another put. Round and round and round it goes. Remember, the Wheel of Fortune strategy can be a great way to generate income and potentially purchase stocks at a discount. But like all trading strategies, it's not without risks. Before you ever sell a naked put, make sure that you're comfortable owning the underlying stock and accept any risks that could happen should the position go against you. And that's the Wheel of Fortune. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your fellow traders, and until next time, make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it, and remember, you're just one trade away. Go ahead and check out another one of our great trainings right here.